أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ويل للمطففين الذين إذا اكتالوا على الناس يستوفون وإذا كالوهم أو وزنوهم يخسرون ألا يظن أولئك أنهم مبعوثون ليوم عظيم يوم يقوم الناس لرب العالمين كلا إن كتاب الفجار لفي سجن وما أدراك ما سجين كتاب مرقوم يش ويل يومئذ للمكذبين الذين يكذبون بيوم الدين وما يكذب به إلا كل معتد أثيم إذا تتلى عليه آياتنا قال أساطير الأولين كلا بل ران على قلوبهم ما كانوا يكسبون كلا إنهم عن ربهم يومئذ لمحجوبون ثم إنهم لصال الجحيم ثم يقال هذا الذي كنتم به تكذبون كلا إن كتاب الأبرار لفي عليين وما أدراك ما عليون كتاب مرقوم يشهده المقربون إن الأبرار لفي نعيم على الأرائك ينظرون تعرف في وجوههم نظرة النعيم يسقون من رحيق مختوم ختامه مسك وفي ذلك فليتنافس المتنافسون ومزاجه من تسنيم عينا يشرب بها المقربون إن 
الذين أجرموا كانوا من الذين آمنوا يضحكون وإذا مروا بهم يتغامزون وإذا انقلبوا إلى أهلهم انقلبوا فكين وإذا رأوهم قالوا إن هؤلاء لضالون وما أرسلوا عليهم حافظين فاليوم الذين آمنوا من الكفار يضحكون على الأرائك ينظرون هل ثوب الكفار ما كانوا يفعلون صدق الله العظيم The profit stories, profit stories are amazing, are amazing. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you, children? Alhamdulillah. We are fine. We like to hear profit stories from you. Okay. Mashallah. That's very good. The stories of the prophet are important for all Muslims. Inshallah, today we will learn about the prophet Shuaib, peace be upon him. Are you ready? Yes! Okay, let's start. Bismillah. The people of Madian were Arabs who lived south of Jordan. They were greedy people who did not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's existence and they worshipped a tree called Al-Aika as their god. That's why they were known as the people of Aika. They were very bad people. They used to rob the people who passed by their town and collected tax from their travelers. Another major big sin that they did was that they cheated people with their measurements and lied to their customers about their products. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Shuaib peace be upon him to guide those people. He was a very good speaker and one of the five Arab prophets mentioned in the Quran. Who are the five Arab prophets? 
The five Arab prophets mentioned in the Quran are Prophet Hud, Saleh, Shuaib, Ismail, and Muhammad peace be upon them all. Prophet Shuaib requested his people to accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their God and not to do any cheating in their business. But they only assaulted him. You are definitely foolish. After many years of preaching, only a small group of people accepted Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their God, while the rest threatened them. If you are not a small group, who would kill you with the stones? They even warned him. If you don't come to our way, we will throw you out of the city. We don't respect you anymore. Prophet Shuaib, peace be upon him, informed them that he was the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide them to the right path and wanted to keep his wealth pure by not cheating with his people. They called him a liar. They thought Prophet Shuaib was doing this to become a rich person. Prophet Shuai, peace be upon him, remained calm and tried to convince them what he was doing was not for his personal benefit. He requested them to follow the one and only God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But only few people accepted him as a prophet. He reminded them of what happened to the people of Noah, the people of Hud, Saleh, and the people of Lut, peace be upon them. The disbelievers became very angry at them. They forcefully took all of the properties from Prophet Shuaib, peace be upon him, and his followers and threw them out of the city. And they told him, If you follow our rules, you and your followers can come back to our city. All of the believers refused and stayed outside of the city with strong faith on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The disbelievers even challenged Prophet Shuaib. If you are a true prophet of Allah, bring the punishment to us. Cut the piece of the sky and drop it on us. Assalamu alaikum. The copyright of this product belongs to Ikra Cartoon Network. We are trying to build a unique and very educational Islamic cartoon channel. Please do not copy and upload it to your channel as it will hurt us and it would be haram for you. If you think that we are doing an excellent job for our kids, please join our Dawa project. We really need your help spiritually and financially. Please donate generously. It would be Sadaqah Zaria for you. Inshallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you continuous reward even after your death. You can donate by visiting our website, ikracartoon.com. When Prophet Shuaib, peace be upon him, didn't see any hope, he requested to bring justice from his Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah accepted his request. So the people of Shuaib, peace be upon him, and his followers were in that town? No, they were outside the city. Remember, the disbelievers threw them out of the city. Oh yes, now I got it. Then... The big day arrived. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent them the severe punishment. He made the weather burning hot for the disbelievers. It was like there was no air in the city. The people of Madian were suffering from the lack of air from the heat. For days and days they went through that very dry hot weather. It was like they were boiling in the hell. They were suffering terribly. Finally, they saw a massive cloud gathering in the sky. They thought it would bring them cool, refreshing rain. They did not know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's final punishment was coming down from that massive cloud. They became very happy and they rushed outside to enjoy the rainfall. Soon, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shook the ground under them with a big earthquake. The cloud blast with thunderstorm and fire. They heard very loud thunder sound which killed them instantly. They died there on the spot. The evil followers vanished by that horrible fire punishment. What happened to their wealth? It was still laying there. The disbelievers used to say that those who followed the disbelievers were the loser. Now you tell me.
Who are the losers and who are the winners? Disbelievers are always the losers. And whoever believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are always the winner. MashaAllah! Yes! Who believes in the one and only God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are always the winner. Prophet Shuaib peace be upon him went back to the city with his followers. After seeing the ruins of the city, he said that he was not sorry to see them like this, because he warned them about his Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he tried to convince them with good advice, but they did not listen to him. Prophet Shuaib peace be upon him spent the rest of his life in the city of Madian. Some historians suggest that at his old age, Prophet Musa peace be upon him came from Egypt, who escaped from the pharaohs and married one of his daughters. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. This is the end of our story for today. Inshallah, next time we will enjoy another beautiful story of the prophets. The prophet story. If you like our videos, to support Ikra Cartoon, please share and subscribe to our channel.